there everyone, this is C it's from Addicted to Guitar. I got a little project here I wanted to show you. This is uh, one of my original Frankenstrat bodies. This originally started life as a red uh, Squire. And um, I had originally just sanded off all the color and I didn't really do that great a job. As you can see, I kind of squared out some of the curves and uh, the sanding is uneven and I didn't really even go that high a sand grit. Uh, but I used this body um, uncoated for about 10 years and uh, it's got some sentimental value to it so um, I went ahead and just put a quick coating of a uh, true oil on it and uh, true oil is great because it's kind of easy to work with and I really didn't uh, try too hard to cover up any of the blemishes or remove any of the dirt or anything like that I kind of wanted to keep all its scratches and imperfections because to me that's kind of what um, what gives it its character. So um, I did that, and uh, the original neck that was on here I put on another guitar because it was a nice warmth neck, so I got a real nice uh, body for it because it's, a, it's a, a neck with a Floyd Rose um, nut on it, so I got a body where I could put a Floyd Rose on it. So for this one, I went ahead and found this inexpensive neck. Uh, this actually is, uh, I believe, made by Marshall, the amp company, and it's uh, just a made in China an expensive neck. So I thought, uh, great, I would put it on this body and that way I get to keep the body and uh, have another one of these Frankenstruts that I'd love to build. But originally, uh, the pick guard that was on here before with the warmth neck uh, wouldn't fit this new neck. This new neck actually is a little wider and as you can see, the neck and the pick guard don't, uh, don't really fit together. So rather than have to reshape this pick guard, uh, I found this pick guard and I actually set it all up and um, it will actually fit the neck perfectly. So um, the only problem is when you switch out pick guards a lot of times the holes don't always match up. So uh, luckily these two holes match up here on the back and it's going to fit this uh, Wilkinson Tremolo that I got uh, nicely without any real adjustments. So I'm going to use these two holes and some of the other holes that match up as guide holes and the ones that don't match up. I went ahead and filled in with uh, the good old um, toothpick dowel and uh, my little Harbor Freight wood glue here. Shout out to Harbor Freight. They don't really sponsor anything, but you got to love inexpensive tools that you can use a coupon and get a free light for. So uh, I did some of those here, here, and here. So what I'm going to do is um, kind of put it together. Um, and uh, without doing any of the wiring or anything like that, put some cheap strings on it and uh, see if everything kind of works out. Because although the strap parts all fit together, there's usually a little bit of uh, wiggle room in all of it. So you have to kind of figure out what you're going to have to adjust. So that's what I'm going to do today. And um, hopefully you learn something, I learned something, and it's worth our while. All right, so here's that inexpensive neck. And uh, when I originally got it, it was on a... Uh, uh, somebody else's Frankenstrat that uh, I didn't realize was a build. I thought it was the original guitar that this neck came on, but little did I know it was somebody else's garage build. And uh, the holes were drilled completely incorrectly, and actually the neck was not straight. So I went ahead and uh, used our old toothpick dial method and uh, filled in the uh, horrible holes that the guy drilled. And uh, these holes are going to match up perfectly with this uh, set of holes here and I've got a nice plate here and I've got some screws so we're just going to attach that now unfortunately or fortunately depending on if you like the the character of the Frankenstrat and the fact that things don't always line up there's gonna be a little bit of space here between uh, between the body and the neck on the sides here luckily with this pick guard you're not gonna see too much of it but uh, there is gonna be a little bit of a gap so maybe in the future we can uh, Put a little shim in there and fill it in. I think it would probably help with the tone because any kind, sometimes you have a gap between the neck and the body, you lose a little bit of vibrations. And you know, we all love that vibration because that vibration uh, means tone on a guitar. So that's what I'm going to do now, and uh, let's see if it works out.
Okay, so right now I just installed the plate and the screws and I just got it to the point where the screws just start coming out of uh, the body here. And if the screw holes and the screws line up perfectly, the screw will go in easy. If you start putting the screw in and it feels like it's not lining up or it feels like you're actually drilling a hole, then you probably want to take a look at it because most likely uh, you're not in the pre-drilled hole and you're actually making a whole new hole with the wood screw. Uh, and you don't necessarily want to do that without a, a guide hole because um, you'll crack the wood anytime you, uh, you put a screw in a piece of wood and you don't leave a little bit of relief uh, in the hole there, um, eventually the wood has to kind of move out of the way to accommodate the screw and it usually cracks down the grain. So we've got pre-drilled holes in there and hopefully everything's going to line up perfectly. So what I like to do is sit it in there. Um, and you usually want to sit the back screws first. So I'm just going to delicately start screwing in there and I don't know if you can see it, but the screw goes in pretty easy which means that we are close to the hole there. Now I'm just going to take a quick look and make sure that we're not starting out with any gap here. So it looks like we've got a nice set there. So I'm just going to start and see if I can get these front ones in. These front ones feel like they're going in pretty easy. so. Looks like we are right at the holes there. So I'm just going to start tightening down these back ones. You don't want to tighten it all the way right away. You want to get all the screws set. You want to get the plate in the right spot. When you're working with uh, different kinds of screws, you're going to need different size screwdrivers because you really want the screwdriver to match up with the uh, with the Phillips hole here, and that way you don't mar up the screw too much, especially on exposed screws like this that are part of the uh, that are part of the beauty of the guitar. All right, so we don't want to over crank it and crank the wood, but um, there we go. So plates on. Let's take a look. All right, so here is that uh, those gaps I was telling you about. But the pick guard will cover this one and about to here. So, um, you know, it won't look too bad. I don't think anybody would notice if they look at it real quick. And I just went ahead and set the tremolo with these old screws that I've got here. And when we restring it, uh, that'll just be there to, uh, to let us try it out. So the one thing we got to make sure since this has a spot is that when we string it up with this tremolo, uh, it's the next in the right place. It's not too low or too high and uh, has any of the strings too close to the end of the neck. So I'm going to show you guys how we just check that out real quick. Okay, so this is just a piece of twine here and all I'm going to do is set it in the nut for the first string and put it on the saddle here, the first string. And uh, looks like it's going to be okay. It's a little close, but you know on this saddle here we've got a little wiggle room, so if it's a little higher it should fit okay. And then on the sixth string, which I got the nut in the saddle, and it looks like we're going to be okay. Not a perfect fit, but I think something we'll be able to live with. If you want to go through you can check them all and you can see where your strings are going to line up. And this is always something you want to do too when you're starting a guitar from scratch and you're drilling in uh, the hole to set a new tremolo because just a couple millimeters down or up could be the difference between having a string on the neck or having a string actually falling off the neck, which is not good. All right, so I'm pretty happy with it. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, just attach the pick guard. I don't know if we're going to drill any of the holes today. Uh, what we're going to do is just put on the screws for the holes that do line up. And that'll give us a chance to uh, just put the strings on because like I said, I want to put the strings on and make sure that this neck isn't too high or too thick and this tremolo and this neck are going to work together and everything lines up. And then um, and you take it all apart and you kind of do the fine tuning you put in the electronics. And uh, I think I might end up changing these tuners too. These tuners are not that great. 
So I'm gonna put some nicer ones on there. And um, like with all my builds, you do a quick uh, fret level and some polish and you kind of make it your own. So let's get that pick guard on there and then we'll put some strings on there and see how she plays. So nice fit. And uh, when I put some screws on there, I'll pick the guitar up and I'll show you how nice it fits here around the neck. So these are some of the screws that I had used on this guitar originally, so we'll just put some of these back in here. And like I said, these two screws line up great, so we're gonna use these as our guide, and we'll line up the ones that we have to drill to these. That looks like this one's gonna line up. Looks like a couple down here are gonna line up, which is fantastic. So that guy right there. Okay, so, and I think I would prefer if one of these lined up, but these are the ones that I had to fill in. Um, so we'll probably just wait on that. So give you guys a look. And like I said, it looks pretty good here. You can see there's a little gap there, but the pick guard does a good job of coming right up. So I'm pretty happy with that. So like I said, we'll put on some uh, old inexpensive strings that we don't mind uh, messing around with and we'll start adjusting it and see how it works out. these springs is always easier when you don't have tension on the, the claw here. So what I'm going to do is just attach these guys and then we'll screw the claw in a little bit.
got the low three strings on here and actually everything looks like it's lining up pretty quick. I don't know if I can show you this here, but the action actually doesn't look half bad. I was a little concerned that maybe this neck was going to be too thick for this uh, for this tremolo, but no, everything seems to be lining up pretty good. So I'm getting kind of excited about it. So I'm going to get the next three strings on there and uh, see if I can get it uh, set up and intonated real quick. And uh, if everything works out, then the next video will be me putting in the electronics um, and then maybe doing the tuners at the same time. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you some more clips of it when it's all finished. But um, as always, I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. And uh, we are addicted to guitar. We are anything and everything guitar. And again, if you uh, know any tips or tricks or easier or better ways for us to be doing what we're doing, please let us know in the comments. Or if you have any comments at all, feel free to leave them there. And uh, thanks for watching.